Hello again, this is Deb and welcome back to Word 2019. In this module, we're going to take a look at how you can navigate around your document. Now, I have open on the screen the navigate.docx document, and this is just a document that's been created about Smith properties. Now, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to cast your eyes down to the bottom left hand of the screen where you can see here it has section one, page one of three, 845 words. So we're getting a little bit of information about this document from our status bar. I can see it has three pages and I can see the number of words and I can see that currently I'm clicked in section one. Now we're going to talk about how you section up documents a little bit later on, so don't worry about that too much at the moment. What I want to focus on is how you can quickly navigate using some of the tools in Word to jump around your document, which is particularly useful if you have a very long document. This document here only has three pages, but a lot of the documents you create could be hundreds of pages long. So being able to quickly jump around, find what you need is extremely important and will add to your efficiency. Now, obviously, I'm going to start with the most obvious thing. A quick way of moving through your document is to use your scroll bar on the right hand side. So I can use that just to scroll up and down. And again, if you've only got a few pages in your document, that might be absolutely fine and that might work for you. So you do have your scroll bar. But let's talk about using some utilities for a document that's a little bit longer. So first of all, I'm going to click my mouse at the top of the document here, just in front of where it says Smith Properties. Now, if I had a document that was thousands of pages long and I wanted to jump right down to the bottom of it, it's going to take me quite a while to use the scroll bar and scroll down. I'll probably end up with a little bit of a wrist ache by the time I've finished. So a quick way of doing it is to use your keyboard in order to jump you straight down to the bottom. And in Word, what you need to do is press Control and End, and that will jump you all the way down to the bottom. And you can confirm that by looking down in the left hand side in your status bar. It says that we're now on page three of three. So I know that I'm on the last line on the last page of that document. If I want to jump all the way back up to the top, if I do Control and Home, that's going to do the reverse. A couple of other shortcuts, if you hold down control and press your arrow key, so you can see here I'm pressing the right arrow key, it jumps me per word. So you can see it's jumping around that document just per word. So another quick way, and I could go the other way by using the left arrow key. Control up and down will jump me up one paragraph at a time as you can see as I do that. And the same if I do control up arrow. And if I wanted to select everything in my document, a quick way of doing that would be to do control A, which will allow me to select all of the text in my document. And we're gonna be utilizing control A as we go through this course quite a lot because it is a really useful feature when you want to make mass changes to text. So that's a few quick ways of navigating around your document using your keyboard. What I want to talk to you about in the next section is using things like go to, find and replace. Again, to navigate around your document using page numbers, using headings, using specific words, so on and so forth. So please join me in the next module for that. Hi everyone, this is Deb and welcome back to Word 2019. In the previous module, we started to take a look at some of the basic ways that you can use your keyboard to navigate around your document. And I'd just like to further that idea and introduce a few more utilities that you can use in Word in order to navigate around your document and really increase your efficiency when you're working with your documents. And what I want to focus on in this module is the go to, find and replace options. So when you're working with larger files especially, you might need a quick way to jump to a page or maybe to replace a word in documents. So let's start by replacing a specific word in our document. I'm going to click at the top of my document, so just before where it says Smith Properties. I'm going to go to the Home ribbon and all the way across on the right hand side we have an editing group which is where you'll find your Find and Replace. And you can see that find has a little drop down arrow next to it. 
So I have find, advanced find, and I also have go to in there as well. Now, in this case, I'm going to start out by using find. So let's click find. And you can see it opens up on the left hand side, this little navigation area where I can type in exactly what it is that I want to find. So let's say that I'm looking for the word firm. And you can see it's brought up four results and I can see those listed underneath in that results area. And I can also see them highlighted in my document. So it's very easy for me to find those. So that's one way that you can find a specific word in your document. Let's look at another way. I'm going to close down this navigation panel just by clicking on the cross. I'm going to go back to find and this time we're going to go into advanced find. And this takes me to this little dialog box and it's asking me find what and it's got in there firm which is the last thing that I searched for. So if I wanted to skip through these one by one I could say find next and it's highlighted in the document the first time it finds the word firm. I can do find next again so I can step through one at a time in my document and when I get to the end it's going to tell me it's finished searching so I click on OK. Now another thing you need to be aware of in this find and replace box is this more option. So let's click it and you can see I have a whole host of options that I can use. So for example, I might want it to match the case, which means that it will find the word firm if it matches this case. So if firm is in the document with an uppercase F, it's not going to find it because I've told it to match the case. I could select to find whole words only. So if firm was part of another word, um, so maybe you had something like uh, infirmary, it wouldn't find that. I could also say use wildcard. So with this, I could put a wildcard in front or somewhere in between or at the end of the word. So for example, if I remove the word firm and I type in a asterisk, it's going to find everything in that document which starts with an A, no matter what comes after it. I could also put the wildcard at the beginning and maybe have something like that, which means it will find anything that ends in S. It doesn't matter what comes before it. So wildcards are really useful for searching for specific things. Another thing you can do up here is if I was to type in A and then put in two question marks, that means that the word has to start with an A and it can only have three characters in total. Now, it doesn't matter what those three characters are, but it must be three characters. So again, you're getting very granular here. I'm just going to remove that and just type firm back in again. You do also have a sounds like option. So what this would pick up is any word that sounds like firm. So it might pick up turn, burn, learn, anything along those lines. Find all word forms will find any form of that particular word. And then I have some other options like match prefix, match suffix, ignore punctuation and ignore white space characters. So just be aware that underneath that more drop down, you do have lots of other ways that you can really customize what it is that you're looking for in your document. And you can get very, very granular. So let's just close that down for a moment. I'm going to make sure that I'm clicked at the top of my document. And this time I want to look at the replace option. So again, in the editing group underneath find, we have replace. And what this will allow you to do is to replace one word with another. So for example, this is called Smith properties. Maybe I want to change the name. So I might say find Smith and replace it with, let's replace it with my name, Ashby. And again, I have all of these options if I want to select them. Now, I'm happy just to do a straight replace here, so I'm going to select replace all. And you can see it says all done. We've made 10 replacements. And if you look at my document behind that first line, Smith has now been replaced with Ashby. So a very quick way of replacing multiple words in a document. And let's close down that window. The final thing I want to speak to you about in this module is the go to option. And go to is going to allow you to do different things in your document. So again, let's go to find and we're going to say go to. So what this will allow you to do is navigate around your document. So I can navigate by page number and you can see here if I enter page two, for example, and say go to, 
it's going to jump me down to page two. I can navigate by section. Now, we only have one section at the moment. I haven't split my document up. In later modules, I'm going to show you how to divide up into sections, and then you could navigate to whichever section you wanted to. I can navigate by line, so I could go to a specific line number. I can navigate by bookmark. Now, again, bookmarks are something we're going to cover later. They're a way of you kind of putting a little bookmark in a specific location on a page. So I can jump very quickly to the bookmark. I can navigate by any comments that I have in the document, footnotes. We also have end notes in there, fields, tables. So, so lots of different things. And it really will depend on what you have in your document at the time as to which one of these you want to use. But just be aware that you do have those go to options in there as well. Now I'm just going to click on close and I'm going to jump back up to the top of my document using my shortcut key control home, which we learnt in the previous module. So now we've taken a look at some basics of find a replace and go to. Let's move on to talking about how you can edit a document in the next module. So I will see you over there. Hello again and welcome back to Word 2019. This is Deb and I'm going to take you through how you can do some basic edits in a document. And these are just really some basic editing functions which it's useful for you to know before we move on to the next section. So we've already edited this document in a couple of ways. We've done some finding and some replacing. And now I just want to show you a couple of things when it comes to uh, deleting, backspacing and also undoing and redoing things in your document. So sometimes we might want to type some text in the middle of other text. So for example, it's got Ashby Properties was founded as a new company. So I might want to add in here as a new property company. Now when it comes to deleting, the delete key on your keyboard will always delete everything to the right of it. So if I start to press my delete key, you can see that it's going to delete out the word company. Now backspace on the other hand will delete everything to the left of it. So if I start to do backspace, you can see it's going to delete out that word property. So just remember that they work slightly differently. Another thing I want to show to you is the very important undo and redo button. I know so many people who can't live without their undo button. Now, these two buttons will always be available by default on the quick access toolbar to make them super easy for you to access. So if we look up here, you can see we have the undo button. And what this will allow you to do is to essentially undo what you've just done. So, for example, I've just backspaced that word property. So if I start clicking undo, it's going to give me the P back, the R, the O, so on and so forth. So I can carry on undoing to reverse my last action. The same thing with redo. If I then decide, actually, I don't want that word there, I could redo and it will go back and redo that deletion. What it's also worth noting is that underneath or next to your undo icon, you have a little drop down and this will allow you to go back and basically select how far back you want to undo to. So it'll allow you to do multiple undos all in one go. So just be aware that that's there as well. Now there is a shortcut key for these also. So undo, the shortcut key is control Z. So if you do something, then quickly think, oops, I want to backtrack out of that. A quick control Z is your best friend and redo control Y. So it's good to get those in your brain and make those part of your shortcut repertoire. Now I'm going to add my word back in, just going to say company. And I'm pretty happy with how this looks. So I'm going to do a save by clicking the save button on the quick access toolbar. And there we go. So now I think you have a good knowledge on how to get started with Word. We've gone through all of those basics that will provide you with a great springboard, a really good foundation for moving into some of the more intermediate options, which we're going to start to cover in the next section. But first, I have a practice exercise for you to do. So I will see you over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so that you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now to get the full Microsoft Word 2019 course, including follow along exercise files, click over there and click over there to watch all the videos in this Word 2019 playlist.